Microraptor, a small flying dinosaur from China, was a very important discovery that added a great deal to our knowledge on how birds evolved from dinosaur ancestors. This creature has helped to create a better picture of the evolution of flightless dinosaurs to fully flight capable ones, and the quality of its incredible fossils has even allowed scientists to reveal what colour it was when Microraptor was alive. The animal, which was first named in 2000, is known from some pretty well preserved remains, which has allowed us to gain a lot of information from the species. At less than 1 metre in average length, Microraptor was one of the smallest dromaeosaurs, or raptors, that has been discovered so far, but this tiny creature has provided some valuable information on how flight in birds may have evolved. For a long time it was thought that birds may have gone through a four-winged stage in their evolution towards flight. With the discovery of Microraptor, this seemed to support the idea, indicating that perhaps a lot of early bird ancestors used all four limbs to fly or glide, before at some point switching to using just their front limbs. This has led to many studies on how well Microraptor could have flown using all four of its limbs. One such study from 2013 involved the construction of an accurate model of Microraptor that was placed in a wind tunnel to figure out the animal's flying capabilities. This also provided useful information on the debate about how Microraptor held its legs while flying. It was found that Microraptor most likely held its legs downwards and was a quite capable glider. However, it was not a very efficient flyer, since there was a lot of drag acting upon the animal, but it certainly would have been able to glide for short distances. The study also demonstrated that the tail generated lift, so, as Darren Nash, who is involved with the study, puts it, Microraptor can be technically described as a five winged flyer, not only a four winged one. But the conclusions that can be drawn from studies of its flight capability, which are supported by the animal's anatomy, are that Microraptor had a fairly generalist lifestyle, and did not at all specialise in flying. Obviously it could have flown occasionally, but it was not something that this animal did all the time. Preserved stomach contents from the animal also helped to support this interpretation. Fish remains have been identified from the guts of one specimen, showing that Microraptor was not restricted to hunting in a forested environment, and would have fed on a variety of other organisms. This means Microraptor was an opportunist, able to feed on whatever food it could find. But, there is even more that we can tell about how Microraptor lived and what it would have looked like when alive from its fantastically preserved fossils. Using scanning electron microscopes, it has been possible to see the structures responsible for coloration in the feathers of one specimen. These structures, called melanosomes, have different shapes and sizes depending on what colour the feathers are, and by comparing the fossilised melanosomes with those of living birds, it was possible to work out what sort of colour Microraptor was. So, what colour was it? Microraptor would have had a black, iridescent coloration in life, similar to modern animals such as blackbirds. Suggestions have been made that this iridescence was perhaps used for displaying to potential mates, which could mean that feathers originally evolved as display structures, but were then later used to allow birds to fly. Microraptor is a very interesting creature that has contributed a lot to our knowledge and understanding of evolution of flight in birds. We still have a lot more to uncover about this time in evolutionary history, but perhaps with future discoveries that are just as important as Microraptor, we will be able to solve the complex record of flight evolution. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you would like to learn more about our incredible world and the wonderful life we share it with, please feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos from us.